Today, I would like to do a piece on the swans, 79 all the way to 8 folks, fam, swan, family swans. Uh, I wanted to do a piece on the swans because I have a good friend named Stax that just got out the favor life sentence. But I always knew a lot of the swans because a lot of them used to go to elementary school with me in junior high school. And we played baseball together at Bethune Park in Roosevelt Park. But we was all young and I didn't really know who the swans was until I got to high school because that's how it was back in the days. I went to LP one time and uh, uh, it was a lot of Crips and Bloods there and uh, we ended up going to church one Sunday. And at the church, we seen all the guys coming through there, all the gang members. And I noticed the guys named Callahan, it was twins. I know the other brother Callahan and I know the twin Callahans and there was a lot of bloods, there was a lot of swans, there was a lot of East Coast and everything and we all kind of like went to church that day and that's when I first seen the twins and I knew they was bloods then and I didn't know they were swans until everybody used to tell me they were swans and I ended up seeing them that day. But uh, uh, I used to work at American Market right there on 79th and Central, right there by the swans in the kitchens. and. I worked in there for a few years and I always uh, used to see, you know, a lot of them coming to the store and I used to see a lot of them, you know, that I played baseball with and uh, I used to always see them up at Fremont and I used to always see Big Chuck uh, and Little Chuck and when we went home one, one summer for school, Little Chuck got killed, but I know Chuck worked at Big Chuck, he kind of worked at the dairy right there on 79th and Avalon and I used to see, we went to Fremont. That's when I know, the East Coasters was deep in Fremont and we kind of like held it down a little bit. And um, we always uh, was in the gym. We always was uh, in the middle of the, the Pathathon in the middle of the school. That's where we hung at, all the homies, Hoovers and everybody, everybody, we hung there. But uh, you talk about the Swans, you know, they are one of the uh, known bloods in Los Angeles. They're right there on Avalon, from Avalon, from I think it's from Maine, all the way to uh, close over right by Central, all the way from 79th to Manchester. And my little brother went to uh, South Park uh, uh, Elementary School, and my brother lived over there when he was little. But I went to the South Park one day, and the Bloods tried to beat me up because they thought they knew I was a crip, and they was they was they didn't want me to be at the school. But I just went up there after school. But anyway, to make a long story short, I used to go over there and, and, and um, you know deliver work over there because I knew. Uh, uh, John, I think John got killed, and I know Nate, and uh, I know Showtime, and I know all those guys, Showboat, I know all those guys that lived over there, and we all went to Fremont, and um, uh, one day uh, we was uh, just hanging out a little bit, and you know, we always, you know, used to see the uh, swans in Fremont, but you always hear about the swans, you know, all we hear, I think Cypress Hill, uh, one of the members from Cypress Hill in there, I know one of the members from Above the Law, I think it was... Uh, Larry Goodman's his brother Argo, I think his name Argo. We all went to play baseball together. I played with Amp, and I played with a lot of the Swans that I know after I got older, uh, Plex, Ken Walker. Uh, I know a lot of them over there, uh, uh, Raphael, uh, Rayford, and I know a lot of them over there because we all w was kind of like young together before everybody started getting into these these cliques. But one night, one night, man, um, Melvin Bullet threw a party over there on 86, and uh, I think it was... Uh, right there by uh, at Melvin's backyard and uh, Melvin had a cousin that lived in the swan hood. So one day uh, we was having a party in the backyard. It was me, King Ron Ron, uh, T. Ida, uh, Aunt Melvin, Lil Mark. We was all in the backyard and we seen this big old truck pass by. But we didn't know it was nobody in the truck. So we standing right there in the front of, in, right in the back what did it say in the back and um okay. and um okay. okay and um while they was there at, at at we was at the party and um next thing you know it was about 50 swans came to the party and uh we was like whoa but everybody was like hey what's up fish what's up man i i, I knew a lot of the swans and you know, uh, melvin knew a lot of them and uh, Merck and all of us we knew a lot of the swans because you know we, they, uh, Melvin never lived right down his cousin from right there, and uh, you know we was all talking and everything, talking about the old times and everything, 
and um, they end up leaving in, in this big truck. So when I went to the front, I said, man, what the dudes coming? They came in the truck. But you know, uh, another time that I encountered the Swans was in, uh, we, had, we used to catch the bus to uh, uh, Magic Mountain. And uh, we was in Magic Mountain. I think we stayed there all night for like to see. It was a school, going back to school to some kind of uh, event. And we was there one night when we had all, we had caught the bus there and we had all went, me, Tiger and Eugene and all of us. And we was at the, uh, at Six Flags and uh, we was there for a long time, but I didn't see none of the swans there until we got ready to leave. Man, I mean, it was about 200 of them swans. They was all red out. It was uh, a bunch of them, uh, Callahan's, uh, <laughs> I mean, everywhere you could name. So I'm standing down there with my girlfriend, me, Eugene, and everything. We had our Batman jackets on with I, uh, with I, uh, with our uh, stuff, we was we was dancing and stuff with the uh, uh, uniforms and everything. So they came down there, but I didn't know it was that many of them. So I'm standing out here, one of them do say, "Hey, hey, 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 uh, hey, hey, uh, Callahan, come here." And he was like, "What's up, man? Man, look who down here, man." And they was like, "Oh man, that's fish, man, from Six Eight East Side, man. What's up, fish, man?" I'm like, what's up, man? What y'all? I'm like, man, show there's a bunch of you. They kept calling each other. Come here, man. Come here. There's fish down there. Come here, man. Come check out fish, man. Fish you got big, got long hair and everything. Look at fish, man. And uh, we chopped it up, man. And uh, we ended up uh, getting on the bus on the Greyhound. That's when we got there on the Greyhound. They had got there on the Greyhound, too. And we all uh, went back to uh, L.A. with that long ride, man. Some of us had girlfriends, some of them. We was capping jokes on each other. We was talking about old days. We were talking about the high school, junior high school, elementary school. And you know what I'm saying? It was just a bunch of, uh, like a family reunion, man. It was just a bunch of guys that I had already knew from school. And we just had uh, a lot of fun, man. And we just talked about, you know, as we getting older, you know, who's banging and who's doing this and who's doing that. And then uh, another time, man, you know, we uh, I ended up uh, start seeing them in, in different parts of uh, L.A. and different parts of uh, jail. I seen some of them in um, uh, county jail. I seen a lot of them when I used to go back to, when I went back to work to American Market, and I used to see a lot of them coming to the store. And uh, I remember when uh, we used to start playing football, high school football, and I used to see Big Callahan. He played running back. And then I seen a lot of the other guys that started, you know, banging JoJo, and a lot of the other guys over there. A big toy. He lived on 75th, and I used to always be uh, go by there, and I used to always mess with this guy named. Um, uh, uh, Lawrence Booker, and you know Lawrence Booker. He, I didn't never know Lawrence Booker bang, but I always knew the homie Danny. His brother was Mike and uh, Rayford Ray Fields, and I always knew they always sold weed, and I always knew that they always used to. Uh, they were swans, and we. It's just like we everybody like from seven six and all that. We all kind of like knew who the swans was. They knew who we were, and they knew we always you know used to come through and everything. And we all used to be you know going up and down the alleys, and we always used to go uh, to the, to the Fremont. We always used to go to the games, and you know we always used to kind of like hang out. But then when the drug business got bigger, you know we kind of like stopped tripping with each other because you couldn't make no money if you didn't have to go if you didn't go over to over there to you know different places to get your your work and everything. And I know that some of the homies used to deal with some of them, and man, it was just a big old uh, thing where everybody started making money buying lowriders, hanging out. And uh, I ran into uh, a few other the swans. I know uh, a few other uh, dudes in jail in the feds. And dudes, you know, we started getting these life sentences. And uh, we all, uh, you know, just was having, you know, a, a lot of things. But I know uh, Stax had a life, got a life sentence out of, our, uh, I think it was out of Arizona. And we just was, man, we just was just from over there over in the 70s. And we all, like, kind of go up to Roosevelt Park or, or, or either to the uh, chambers or either uh, go right there by the kitchens and everything. But we always kind of like knew each other, but we, uh, well, 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 a lot of parts we didn't really go over there, they didn't really come over there, but we all knew each other, but I think that the, in the 80s, the, 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 the curtain came down because of the money making, and I know a, a few of the homies used to start uh, going over there with messing with Big Nate, uh, that's when Big Nate lived over there in Huntington Park, and we used to, he used to have a big old uh, bin, he had the bins, and Melvin used to go over there, and uh, I knew John lived right there on 84th, then I remember Freeman Rick had a, a body shop over there, Swans, 79th Street.